and clips on the beat. So we are b -b 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 back. It's the new Canadian music video releases. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick, and we're back with a list of new hot music videos. Now, before we start this video here, I need you to make sure, make sure to hit that subscription button below, as well as the notification bell next to it, so you know when we're dropping new videos. And as I've been saying lately, make sure that you hit the all notifications when you hit that notification bell, so that YouTube will let you know every time that we publish a new video and we've been publishing about four videos a day lately so stay tuned to everything that the we love hip-hop network has to drop scene now the video that you're going to be watching today is going to be a list of all the new canadian music videos that have dropped within the last seven days or so all 500 views and up and we need you the people to decide who is going to be the number one video this week all right we're going to be putting together a list of the top six music videos based on your votes so we need you the people to decide in the comment section below comment gang scrong let us know who is going to be the number one video in Canada this week, all right? And we'll be announcing it as usual every Thursday morning on all listening platforms on um, on the World's Most Smoked Out podcast. You'll be able to listen to the podcast as soon as it drops every Thursday morning, 7 a.m. on all listening streaming platforms. Now, at the end of this video right here, we're going to be going through a deep dive on the up the rising of DJ Academics all the way up to the time where he is now in his suspension. There's been a lot brewing behind the scenes and in front of the scenes with numerous beefs that Academic has been having lately, more specifically with Meek Mills, Freddie Gibbs, John Legend, Chrissy Teigen, okay, Ben Baller, and it's all bubbled up into now where Academics has been suspended for two episodes from the Everyday Struggle show, okay, when it comes back from his hiatus as well as being banned from twitch for an undefined amount of time so i decided we're going to be going through the times from the beginnings up to now for the rise to the suspension of dj academics so you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video right here so you can catch some of that content but no more long talking let's get to these music videos new canadian music video releases let's go Have that, grab that, uh, find a product that's back that bomb, then you bag that. Uh. They want me on regular ways, smoke some regular haze, working for minimum wage, kicking it back up a tree. I'm running up a stack, and I'm big on really heavy because I said I never liked nah, nah. A lot of niggas turned on me, it's all good, it's all Gucci, no success. Right, because uh, uh. I ain't signing no deals unless it's like 10 mil. Cause he wanted it, cause he had no to. cash rules, everything Came in a foreign, he left in the hearse I heard they wanna get me, get wet with it first Shot in the face, tell me what could be worse Got the G20 I been feeling so accustomed to this fast life Do say watch the way you act Cause it could be your last night and I, I do all of this for you You're the main reason that I'm grinding in the zoo Came to the club She like Coco Like Casey and Georgia You talking to poor boy so lift you up from the bottom, from the bottom. Uh, Watering a plant that could blossom I'm dressing no ring, baby, I can't go at it Told my young boy, better step with your weapon, uh Mr. MZ, I ain't teaching them lessons She like to play with the snow It ain't December I do what I want I got my guys, you know they gon' ride with me Mama been saying that shit really proud of me That shit really proud of me, yeah I got both sides that you gotta choose. I know this shit the streets, but even this shit got some rules. Let me just what the fuck I want a lady. Wanna ride with me in Mercedes? Gotta keep it people like the 80s. Whoa, if you ain't grinding hard, you used to be in poor. I spit game like LeBron James. Yeah. We got a passion in my brother, gotta be. Leave him in a nightmare, he won't even get a dream. No, no. Our choice. Niggas think they talk this 40, burn them up 
up, he try to run, he ain't get too far, I guess he out of I've been on the block, I seen everything to see here Might just sneak up on your cross, jam you for my run Got a few words like a reverend Governments, why so malevolent? I don't do friends with no benefits This for the hood, the less for in the car, now look you up Don't wink, yeah, you up in the blend Two times ago, at this crib Fuck sliding in Who am I to be a hero? No facade, no, this ain't no truth Turn up the place You was never in the field that went to jail for a case You was sad, 14 was bagging fruits and veggies Back then, they looked down Now we force some more to look up Never stop, never quit They come and they shop like Sobeys Stove too low, I need more heat New whip, push button, ain't no key She ain't hitting the blood I said, I got it on me And I'm always telling her my molly She wanna fuck, she wanna get gnarly Put in it where she wrap out we got the drop, now we right at the spot Up with the trap for them bands and the knots And bro, a chopper is wrist in the pot Play with a shooter I had to be sus You take L's like Russ Sorry, I had to cuss But it was a must The building I be on the block I'm getting paper ducking knuckles Watch out for the wire They be coming like they mom Can't copy that The I Joe won't fame in a lot of stats Bitch, you leave it inside us So rest on rap I'm Alright, so as promised, we're going to be getting into this week's industry tips, but rather than industry tips, we're going to be doing a breakdown of the rise of DJ Academics up to now where he has his suspension from Complex or from Everyday Struggle for the next two episodes after their hiatus, okay? So I decided with everything going on that you know we can do a quick breakdown of the rise from the beginning of Academics' career all to the success of where he is right now, to being the media mogul, to being the, uh, the media platform that he's become right now. Now, he was um, known, full, um, known as the negotiator, Lil Ack as well, because he has a rap career that he started not too long ago, maybe about two years ago now. Full name, Livingston Allen. Academics was born in Jamaica on May 17th, 1991. In 2001, Livingston and his family moved to the United States, where he moved to New Jersey, where he went to high school, and then on to Rutgers University, where he studied biomathematics. Now, in high school, he started developing a love for hip hop, and in university, he began DJing with aspirations to have a master's degree in math finance, with the name Academics becoming very fitting. He started DJing for college radio and started having successful parties as well as barbecues. There was a few times that he butted heads with the higher ups in the college radios for having some content that was a little bit too edgy for college radio at the time. As he started to delve, the, as he started to delve into starting about um, talking about celebrity gossip as well as playing music on air. While in Rutgers University in 2011, he started his first website, Late Night Creep, where he covered hip hop as well as gossip. Pretty much what he's doing today. In, to, in October of 2012, he started his first DJ Academics YouTube channel. Now, at the time, um, the channel became really popular in a short space of time, gaining more than 200,000 subscribers. And he had a lot of videos at the time that were covering pretty much the same thing that he's covering now. Now, one of his most popular videos at that time was Suge Knight Faints after bail was set up upward to 25 million, which was at 11 million. Um, 11 million views and a lot of those views were accumulated way early as soon as the video was posted starting to help catapult academics as one of the people to check to to get news as well as a, a satirical spin on the way that he would bring the news now after youtube issues in 2015 academics started the youtube channel that we now see as well as a few other channels that is still in existence. Now we had the Negotiator channel, which wasn't as popping as his main channel, but he used to use that for longer form content, you know, sometimes topics that weren't as popping as the main gossip topics that are going on in the news. So that channel used to be in existence. Still in existence, he had the Crime Fails channel, which right now up to date, just has a few videos of a few cop arrests and a few crazy car chases and things of that nature. Okay, he has the King Academic channel which was once uh, which was the source for his twitch streams once upon a time um, as well as IG repost and last but not least he had the infamous war on Chirac channel and that's where he introduced a big portion of the world to the whole Chicago drill scene the Chicago drill music scene with you know with guys like Chief Keef Fredo Santana RIP and all the madness and the murders and the crazy incidents that go down in Chicago now, as an avid gamer, 
academics also started his Twitch page, I think around 2014, where he commented on hip hop in long form, at the same time um, playing video games and taking donations coming from the people that he has dubbed chat niggas. In 2017, he joined the cast of Everyday Struggle um, with complex journalist Nadeska Alexis, as well as former rapper and now successful media personality, Joe Button. Now, the most notable beefs that I know up to date is, you know, the beef that was started back in 2015 with Meek Mills. That was during the time when Meek Mill and Drake were beefing. And, you know, there was a lot of coverage of Drake. And then that was like sparked the whole academics. Watch the way that you post on, on your page about me. OK, he has he, he had beef with Nicki Minaj or continues to have beef with Nicki Minaj that started around that uh, around back then as well and continues on to now. He had beef with Vic Mensa, which in 2017, stemming from his appear his first appearance on the Everyday Struggle show where Vic, Vic Mensa, you know, quote unquote, checked him on the content that he had on the War on Chirac channel. Ever made you feel like you had a, a space to have a perspective on our people dying on a daily basis. You know, saying that he was using the pain that was coming from the different neighborhoods in, Ch in Chicago and using that to his advantage and making jokes about it at the same time and said, you know, that he would be, you know, he would put allegedly put hands on him if they were in that same type of scenario. Also, um, he had beef with Takeoff. You know, a lot of people remember that BET red carpet event, um, that um, Why We Left Off a Bad and Bougie event, okay? Selena Powell, who has been dubbed the hip hop thought, okay? Who has, you know, had accusations against academics for control issues and alleged abuse. He has an ongoing beef that is still going on with red Toronto rapper Nav, um, which at this point right now, we're not completely sure of why that beef has started, but he's been taking numerous jabs on the Everyday, Everyday Struggle show, as well as his own content at NAV. Um, every once in a while, you might see a slight sub back from NAV, but NAV hasn't responded in a more overt way up to this point. There was a short beef with Nipsey Hussle, RIP Nipsey Hussle, which apparently was squashed before Nipsey Hussle's untimely passing. To now, we where we are, and there was other beefs between there with other m not as known rappers that, you know, he's mentioned on his page where he's decided, you know, he's not going to mention. He's been aligned with Takashi 6 9 and everybody knows about Takashi 6 9 and their feelings about him and the way he's been blackballed from the industry. So it's been very touchy for academics to be somebody who has helped Takashi 6 9 and vice versa to get the popularity where they are now, but to still align himself with him, okay? Um, and now we're up to the recent beefs with people like Freddie Gibbs, the infamous, um, which sparked, you know, got to the infamous Twitch rant where he went at John Legend, as well as Freddie Gibbs, John Legend's wife, Chrissy Teigen, and jewelry maker, Ben Baller. Now, at the end of the day, when it comes to academics, academics is an independent blogger. He's an independent, um, he's an independent media site who started from the mud. Okay, love him or hate him, you gotta respect what he's been able to do. You know, he's been able to recently purchase a two million dollar mansion. You know, where everybody used to be like, oh, that's the blogger that lives in his mom's basement. He's been able to buy his mom cars and different things that he's shown on Instagram. He's been able to build a, build a following or a subscriber base on Inst on YouTube of more than four million subscribers. A lot of content creators, including myself, have taken different techniques from academics. When you see videos where you're just seeing gifs or seeing music videos with commentary um, from 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 a blogger that's academic style okay so in the end of the day you know we could be mad at academics us personally with the we love hip-hop network he's taking stuff from us as far as taking content off of our pages without giving us the credit but we got to give the man respect for being able to get from the point that he is. And it's definitely very inspirational um, for any content creator to be able to see that you can build from just having ideas and then talking about things that you're passionate about in your house and making YouTube videos where you can go on from making thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands a year, okay? 
um, at this point right now, his Twitch page, his, uh, is, he's still been suspended from Twitch. We're gonna be keeping track on what's going on to see if he's gonna be able to get back on Twitch. And in, in a couple of weeks when Everyday Struggle gets back on, we'll see what goes on and how academics um, handles and how the public handles him, okay? I'm sure he's gonna to continue to give us content via YouTube as well as on his Instagram page. So in the end of the day, I think academics would be okay, all right? Let me know in the comments below if I had gotten any of these dates wrong, if I had missed anything extremely important. I know there's other beefs that I didn't mention, including the Soldier Boy beef. Um, I know there was a lot of time where like he used Soldier Boy and all the different antics that he was going through to help build the buzz on his page. So let me know different things where you think that I might have missed, different points that you think has helped academics get to the point where he is now, different reasons besides the rant um, on Twitch where you feel why he might have been you know put in the corner or suspended by complex let's talk about it in the comments below comment gang scrong also let me know in the comments below who you think should be in the top six music videos this week from the music video montage that we played earlier we'll be looking through the votes and then we'll be deciding this thursday morning who will be the top six music videos this week all right Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms at Friday Ricky Dread, that's D R E D. Make sure to hit up our website, that's the hub for all things We Love Hip Hop, that's We Love Hip Hop.ca. And also make sure to hit us up on Instagram or follow us on Instagram at We Love Hip Hop Network. Scene, it's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick, and I'm out.